If you're doing this exercise along with me though, you'll notice that as you scrub the timeline, this first section as it scales up doesn't look as crisp as mine does. You'll notice that this the edge of this arrow is nice and crisp, but yours probably looks like this with the fuzzy edge. And what I just did is turn off this button right here. This little star-like icon is called the continuously rasterize button. That's a rather awkwardly named icon that essentially allows you to keep your vector graphics nice and crisp no matter what scale they are at. Even if you increase the scale a lot like we've done just now. So let me show you how to fix that. I'm going to come back to my first panel with layers and you'll notice that all my illustrator layers have got these little icons checked on. I want you to turn these continuously rasterize icons on for all your illustrator layers. But again, this is a two-step process. When we come back to our main or master composition, we also have to turn on the continuously raster button for this particular composition, like so. Now we have that nice clean edge. This is something we only have to worry about when we're importing our artwork and text from Illustrator. If we're creating our own text right here in After Effects using the layer dropdown and new text layer option, then we won't have to worry about doing that continuously rasterized option.